It has been confirmed that the custom game browser will launch with Season 7, but there are some changes that have been made to the custom game browser. So in this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. Now I know all of you are very excited about Halo Infinite's revealed this Sunday at E3 at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which we will be doing a watch party live stream with the community here, guys. If you guys want to check out the description and the pinned comment as well, we'll have a link to my Twitch channel if you guys want to follow us there. We'll be spending some time hanging out, enjoying the reveal of Halo Infinite this Sunday, and I'm definitely hoping to see you guys there. But before anything Halo Infinite related, we have some MCC news to cover. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos make sure you tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo as we ramp up to the release of halo infinite well make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here so we finally had a concrete update when it comes to the custom game browser and if it's going to be part of season 7 within mcc well a recent development update posted up by 343 goes into some details about season 7 as well as the custom game browser which i'm sure a lot of you are really looking forward to myself included as many of you in the comment section as well on my live streams which we do stream every tuesday and thursday we talk about doing custom game nights and honestly trying to have one person trying to manage all these people trying to jump in all at once can be a bit overwhelming so being able to do a custom game night through the custom game browser would be super useful and we did just that with the weekend test build that was released into the retail version of mcc we played a bunch of custom games together and we had a really fun time now it's only gonna be available for halo reach for the launch of the custom game browser as they want to make sure when it does release it has all the features that people are expecting to have in a custom game browser so then once they start expanding out to the all the other games that they don't have to like duplicate so much work but i'm sure once the custom game browser is in a really good place with the community we see those other games get added in rather quickly but there have been some changes made to the custom game browser since our initial experience of that weekend flight process that we had and in the recent mcc development update that we do get every friday postums goes into some details about what has been changed about the custom game browser so let's get right into it so here's the development update now, one thing is that I've always been a question is, is the custom game browser coming with season seven? And in this development update, they confirm officially that yes, the custom game browser will come with season seven. As stated, the team has been heads down on making updates in preparation for the, the next time we show it off being the custom game browser, which happens to be with season seven. They do say that they currently do not have a date for season seven yet, but it's literally like within a week or two, we will see this released. Maybe not this upcoming week, which would most likely be the June 16th, we'd see the update go live because a lot of people are coming down from the June 13th reveal of Halo Infinite, which we are having. And to give MCC some breathing space to kind of share a little bit of the spotlight, we might see this season seven update go live on June 23rd. But I digress with the recent feedback that 343 got from the custom game browser weekend play test that we had, they came up with six different points that they wanted to cover about what they changed about the custom game browser from the community feedback for that we played that weekend. One being full sessions will sort to the bottom of the browse list, which you might hear going, why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. But when you're actually thinking about it, when it's a full session, it's pretty tough to join that session right there. And so there's most likely you won't be able to play. And so they would automatically sort to the bottom, giving people who just created matches a chance to get their lobby showcase because I have even experienced this and I have a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel to try to get people to funnel into my custom game browser. And even then we kind of struggled to fill out BTB lobbies. Now, if I remember correctly from the play test that we were able to sort, you know, from ascending to descending when it comes to population within the server. And so then this seems more like an automatic setting, but you can obviously change it however you like. Two, several issues around the ordering of sessions when a sort column is selected have been fixed. Essentially just clean up any discrepancies that have come up when sorting things properly. Number three, the custom game browser now has addressed an exploit where cheaters flagged by EAC 
were not removed from sessions. This was definitely something I saw online with some Twitter clips. I didn't experience this personally, but cheaters were able to jump into the custom game browser lobby matches. And obviously you don't want cheaters in your game because it ruins the fun for everybody. Really glad to see that this was addressed for the custom game browser. Number four, the naming of end game is now replaced with next game in the pause menu when repeat game is enabled. So obviously just changing up some verbiage would be much clearer to people who are just playing the game and experiencing the custom game browser who don't read up all these development updates and watch all the videos about the custom game browser. Seeing next game instead of end game would make a lot more sense. And for number five and six on here, improvements for party handling during gameplay with voice and text chat and many other polishes. So it's looking like the custom game browser is really setting itself up to be something pretty special for the MCC and something I've always wanted for my classic Halo experiences. I remember back in the day playing Halo 2 online, playing some custom games, playing some zombies and stuff like that, going, man, I wish there was a way to play all these awesome custom games without having to corral random people at whatever random time I'm playing to fill out lobbies. Fast forward almost 20 years later, 15-ish years later, we're finally being able to do that with Classic Halo. So I'm very excited about this feature. And I will 100% be hosting custom game lobbies, which I know I get a lot of questions about, as having the custom game browser makes that process a million times easier. And now for just a bit of a wrap up of what else is coming with MCC season seven, beyond just the elite customization, which I'm sure a lot of people already know about, we're actually getting a firefight update as well. Showcased here with this image, that firefight is now gonna be thrown in along with the match composer as well. So now you can mix and match your ODST and reach firefight experiences. They do mention within the previous development update that this actually allows 343 to possibly create some unique firefight game mode experiences which would be completely awesome in my opinion because firefight it can be fun for just kind of shooting the stuff you know blowing things up but uh being able to have some timed events and probably have some challenges tied to firefight beyond just you know finishing a few matches and killing a few baddies would be a really fun experience with the mcc for the rest of 2021 so now when could we see Season seven being released on the MCC. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm really am expecting to see it on the 23rd as I don't really expect to see a new season of the MCC be released within the same week of like the announcement of Halo Infinite as everyone's gonna be wanting to talk about that and think about that game for links like at least for the whole week pretty much. It's gonna be kind of overshadowing a new season of MCC if that does happen. And when it came to last season to try to know some kind of trends, the announcement of the release date for MCC season six was done on March 31st, which was the Wednesday, which was one week before the actual release date of season six. And so I'm expecting to see the similar kind of experience. So I would, so maybe on Wednesday, June 16th, we could see an announcement of the release of season seven, most likely being on June 23rd. As I'm sure 343 wants to give people at least more than just like a day or two heads up of a new season being released to kind of build up the hype a little bit, you know what I mean? And also don't want to be overshadowed by the news and information about Halo Infinite being released. So I think that June 23rd is going to be a really solid release date for season seven of the MCC. But when that release date does become official, you guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. So if you guys are new to the channel or miss any content from me recently or been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I can link to all my news and informational videos. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.